folks. This is Rose from In Rose's Garden and today we are going to work on something pretty simple. Um, we're going to make bobby pins, decorative bobby pins. Now um, we're going to make four sets. We should have enough time because it shouldn't take us long to make these at all because well there's not much to them but they're but they turn out really pretty. So let's turn down and I'll show you what we're going to do. You can see we have four little piles of things here. We're going to get our silicone mat out and work on that. So I'm just going to pull them up onto my mat as I push it in place here so that uh, we don't lose any of our bits and pieces. There's one of the leaves stayed there. So what we're going to do here is what is you take your bobby pin blank see it's a, just a regular bobby pin that has had this little platform welded onto that I got these at Hobby Lobby in case you're interested and uh, so here is the platform and then what we're going to do is we're going to glue our main piece down onto it let it dry for just a few minutes and then we're going to stick our decorative pieces on. So I have flattened these out already but as you can see these have a bump and I don't want that bump there because we're going to put these crosses on top of that one. And these has, have also had their rings all cut off already on this first set. but. but the other sets have not. So I will, I'm going to first, we're gonna take out our block. And our chasing hammer. And just give these each a, and then flip them over and do it again. That makes them relatively flat. And that's going to go for the crosses. Now the next step, since we're going to, um, though we can do this, let's do this, This get the base pieces glued on before we worry about cutting the rings and things off. Because it's such a simple, simple thing to do. So... Now these two, with the black pieces, is going to be fine for them to go whichever direction you put them down. They're, they're just a, a um, simple, it won't matter front and back, is what I'm saying here. Whereas with these, you're going to want one going one direction. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to one going one direction, one going the other direction, so that they are um, opposite to each other. So if you put them in your hair from one side to the other side, you won't have to worry so much about whether your um, bobby pins are one of them's upside down. Come on glue, let's come out. So just put some glue on the top of your piece, your base piece here. And I'm going to put the glue on all four of these, all, well, eight, because there's all four have two things each. And I'm doing them all right now so that when we start over here with this first set that the, that the glue has started drying just a little bit so it's not gloppy I mean it's not runny I should say not not gloppy's fine but runny is so I don't want it running so we will take our pieces and we'll center that circle right in the middle of our piece with one of the points facing down. We'll do that with both of them. 
and then we'll do it with all all the way down the line that way um, well not not that way for all of them this is these two like I say have the point and it goes from the middle to the point But when we get to these leaves, we're going to want one one direction, one the other direction. So we will sort of go like so. And then Now, if you wanted your leaf to face outwards, you could also do it that way. Um, I like mine like this, so that's the way I'm going to leave it. Oop, come here, last leaf. So right on top of the glue, just like this. Point it downwards like there. Sort of make sure you're in the same place on both. See this one's up a little higher than that one. We want that to come down some. Or this one to go this way some. One or the other. So they're more or less the same. This one is moved some. There we go. Okay, now we can do this one of uh, two two ways. We can go and with this one, like I say, has already got the odds and end pieces cut off that needs to be cut off. But this one doesn't have much to cut off, so maybe we'll do that first. So I've got my heavy-duty pliers um, cutters here, and we're going to cut this ring off the top. Then I'm going to take my file and file that down some. So a little rough. So this set is ready to be attached to its pieces. So what we're all we have to do is take a little glue on the onto our um, crosses. Just put a little glue on the back of them. And then we're going to center our cross right on our base piece. So there's that one. Now we'll do the same with this. 
our glue coming out, so it's fine. Let's plug that so it doesn't keep coming out like that. Now you'll see I'm facing these the opposite direction when I put our second cross on. And that's because, like I say, these are going to go generally on opposite sides of a person's head. So we want our pieces to be facing opposite directions. So there is our cross. So that's one set done. So we'll stick those up here further, let them dr keep drawing. And then we're going to bring down our little mushroom and leaf. Now these have already had their rings cut, so I don't need to worry about that with them. So all we need to do, now this is one thing I didn't do on the crosses because I knew I was going to go right over the top of that middle piece. I'm not sure about that, come here tweezer, with these. So I'm going to take my tweezer and I'm going to pull this bit out of the middle. It's, a, it's gloppy still, it's not really dry but it is dry enough I can pull it more or less out. I don't care if it comes out all the way because we are going to put our mushroom and our little leaf on there, but I didn't want it to bubble up. So again, we're going to do these opposite of each other. Oops, let go of me. That is one problem with gluing. You always get it all over yourself. So glue in the mushroom and then we'll drop him down slightly to one side and then we'll get a little leaf, put some glue in it and then it's going to go Right, like so. So now we'll do the same thing with this one, except for that our mushroom will be in this side with the leaf on that side. So leaf in the in, in I mean mushroom towards the interior. and little leaf on the outside. Now, if you don't like getting um, glue on your hands, if you're working on something like this, I would suggest getting some medical gloves to wear because I always get glue all over myself when I'm working. So there is pair number two with our mushrooms and our leaves. So now they can sit over here while they dry for a while. And now we're ready to do one of these sets. One of these sets down to me. We're going to do the one with the dragonflies and the little fall leaves. And now we need to cut the rings off of these. So This one didn't want to cut easily, so I had to work it a little bit. Now where'd I put my file? There it is.
Now these I'm going to do more or less the same way as I did these guys here with my leaf right here and my dragonfly flying like so. Dragonfly go over here a little bit. There must be a touch of glue coming through right there because it wants to. So these will be sitting sort of like that. So now we just have to glue these guys on. I'm going to put my dragonfly on first because I know where I want him to be for sure. And then we will um, put the little uh, maple leaf on after that. So we're, we want him to go with his tail down towards the point of the leaf and sort of like so. And we're going to put the leaf up here, I think, like so. So let's get it glued. And just twist this a little bit. If you need to twist it till you're more comfortable laying things down, then go ahead. And I got this backwards. We want it to go with the leaf up. So just work it a little bit till you get it where you want it. And that'll do. So there is this one then. Now for the second. <laughs> So just put the glue all over the little back of our dragonfly. We want his tail to come over this way. So like so. And I think I need to turn it just a teeny bit. That looks pretty good, I think. Though I think this other one is down lower, like so, yeah, then we just need to put our little maple leaf on, and this one is done. So, And there is our maple leaf and dragonfly. So now we just have one set left to do, and that's our purple flowers. So. Purple flowered ones. Again, we want them facing opposite directions. And then the sprig is going to go like this. And then we're going to put the larger flower right here in the curve of the, of the, like so. Now we have to cut the, the um, ring off of both of these larger flowers. And they'll need just a tiny swipe of the file. So on these, because I want the bigger flower right here in the very base here. I'm going to put these flowers on first. So right here in the base, like so. Do the same with the other one.
So now we'll take the second one, the little sprig, and we'll put glue all down it. And we'll set it right in the curve here, like so. Hmm. This one appears to have a bend in the stem here. Let's see if I can get it to fix. Or if I'm going to have to pull it off to fix it. Well, let's put this one on first. So right in the curve here. Now the thing is, these are not mirror images. They are actually exactly the same, the flower sprig. So it's not going to sit quite the same. So I'm going to have to pull this one off and take my hand and push it down some. And we'll put her back on. I think the glue is still wet enough and in place that I can do that. But I may put a little bit more on just to be on the safe side because it's dripping out anyway. So, and we definitely want some on the bottom of this branch here where it's, where it's sticking up some. That way, if it continues to stick up, it will at least have the glue bringing it down to um, to its base. So there we go. That's number four, all finished. So we have four sets of decorative bobby pins here. Because these are, are glued, there's probably a little bit of excess glue on them. So we're going to inspect them and see. This one has glue in both of these arms here. This one looks pretty good. But it's been sitting here long enough, I think we can get out any little excess bits. Come on, baby. Okay, that one's good. Now this has got the glue in the opposite direction. It's under these arms. Okay, there's the the crosses. And as you can see, there are they are in opposite directions. So there's one set. And now we will check on our mushrooms and leaves. I seem to have a little bit right here. And this one looks good. So there's set number two. Let's check number three, which is the dragonflies and the maple leaf.
has a little bubble coming through right here. Now there's quite a bit of glue here between the dragonfly and the leaf, but I think it'll be all right once it dries some more. And I'm not going to pull on it till it does dry some more. So that's set number three with the dragonfly and the leaf and the a maple leaf on a background leaf. And then number three is of course the ones we just finished with the little purple flowers on both. And I'm not sure they need any cleaning up at all. So there we go. There are our four sets of bobby pins. So as I said, we're on, they're on a decorative piece. See how it's sitting here in the... So you just, to make one of these, all you got to do is find something that will cover up your base of your bobby pin. And it can be even smaller than this. I've got some little triangular be, um, platforms I use sometimes for these. And then um, whatever little decorative piece you want for them. If it's a smaller piece, then like, like if I had put these on this black background, I would not have put the bigger flower. I would have just put this sprig. So probably same with these. I probably would not have tried to put the dragonfly and the maple leaf both on there, but I might have been able to, but it would have been sort of crowded. So anyway, there are our four sets of decorative bobby pins. Hope you enjoyed making these with me. The first set, of course, was our little silver crosses on our black um, decorative piece. Now see, they go in opposite directions. If you were to put them in your hair, you'd want this one on this side and this one on this side. So, and again, that's the crosses. Then the second pair we made were, of course, our mushrooms and leaves. Aren't those cute? The third pair was our dragonfly and maple leaf, fall maple leaf. And the fourth pair was our purple flowers. Aren't those pretty? So definitely, if you're a bobby pin wearer, um, decorate your bobby pins. They look so pretty that way. So this has been Rose from In Rose's Garden, and we've been making four sets of decorative bobby pins, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.